So she rubbed some of this oil in my neck and within a minute or two, I felt the muscles relax. I felt the pain in my muscles relieve. It was pretty compelling. And I was like, wow, this really works. So that's kind of where it began. And then when I got back to Colorado, I started mixing stuff up in my kitchen and experimenting with it. My first product was a, an infused massage oil and I would use it on my All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Cannabis Corona Report, where we speak to cannabis companies that are succeeding or helping other companies succeed during the global pandemic. And today, we are joined by Dahlia Mertens from Mary Jane's Medicinals. Dahlia, welcome to the show. Thank you, Dan. I'm stoked to be here. <laughs> I'm stoked to have you. Our listeners know that I love companies that fill a niche, and I love the ones that stick to their niche. So today we're going to be talking about why you're doing so well within your niche. And I just can't wait to get into that. But before I do, I want to talk about another thing that I love, and that's brands that tell a story. And that's where I want to start today. Your path to cannabis started about 10 years ago as a massage therapist who added cannabis to your massage oil. Take it from there. What happened next? It's funny, actually, my degree was in theater. That was my passion after college, I ended up moving to New York and was working on film and television sets. Colorado kept calling me back, and I'd always wanted to live in Telluride. So I, I moved back to Telluride, and I thought it was just going to be for one winter. Um, <laughs> it turned into almost 20 winters now. <laughs> um, I just love it here. And so when I moved to Telluride, I had to kind of transition and figure out what I was going to do with my life. I had always been interested in natural healing and herbs and stuff and more of a holistic approach to health. And there was actually a, a massage school in Telluride that certified massage therapists. So I was like, well, you know, maybe I'll get certified as a massage therapist, work in spas and in that kind of healing realm for a while and see where it leads me. I didn't necessarily think that massage therapy was going to be my career for many, many years, but I thought it might lead me somewhere. Sure. And um, in the fall of 2009, I took a little time off to go out to California and trim cannabis on my friend's grow. So I went out there and when I was there, a girlfriend of mine had infused some grapeseed oil with cannabis and she offered to give me a neck massage with it. I had never heard about cannabis being used topically at the time and I really didn't think it was gonna do anything, but I wasn't gonna say no to a neck massage. <laughs> so she rubbed some of this oil in my neck and within a minute or two, I felt the muscles relax. I felt the pain in my muscles relieve. It was pretty compelling. And I was like, wow, this really works. So that's kind of where it began. And then when I got back to Colorado, I started mixing stuff up in my kitchen and experimenting with it. My first product was a, an infused massage oil and I would use it on my clients. I would ask them if you know, they were okay with that. And I'd say 98% of the time they were open to trying it. And we would just get these amazing results. At, at first, I thought it was just going to create for a, a more relaxing massage. But um, mm -hmm. as more of my clients used the products, tried the massage oil, I started hearing back from them just all these amazing testimonials of all kinds of health issues being relieved by the use of this oil. It was very exciting to me. I was like, wow, I think we're on to something here. I'd say, I'd say I'm going to, I'm going to make you jump fast forward here for quite a few years. You're out of your kitchen now. You have the, the process is going great. And along the way, you kind of made some discoveries. I saw that you like to use the whole plant. Why is that important? Yeah. So I just have a really holistic approach to these products. You know, I feel like there's so many synergies in that plant. There's so many wonderful wisdom in that plant that Mother Nature created over thousands and thousands of years that why do I need to mess with it? And we've seen that also, like initially terpenes weren't really discussed as much in the cannabis realm. It was all about THC. And then CBD started getting talked about and then terpenes. And now we know that terpenes, which are the chemicals in plants that give them their smell, like essential oils are, you know, essentially the terpenes of the plant. They have so many therapeutic benefits too. And when you have the terpenes in the product, as well as the cannabinoids, your body's just more receptive to the cannabinoids as well. They call that the entourage effect. 
So if you use the whole plant as opposed to just pulling out a THC isolate or even even an oil, you just get more benefits because now also we're realizing that it's not just terpenes, but there's also flavonoids in, you know, cannabis and those have a lot of antioxidant effects. Yeah, I'm just all about like the synergies that are naturally in that plant. Well, I got to ask you a dumb question. If <laughs> Is there any chance when you're putting it on topically that you can get high? Well, that's a good question. You know, the THC is the active component that has, you know, potential psychoactive effects. But um, in a topical that does not have transdermal properties or nanotechnology, the molecules are actually too large to pass oh. through all the layers of the dermis. So it doesn't actually get into the bloodstream. The THC can't get into the bloodstream and doesn't get to the brain. And that's how you get high is if THC gets into your bloodstream and then goes to your brain. With topicals, the THC and CBD bind to receptors in the layers of your skin. And these receptors are part of your endocannabinoid system and they promote balance and homeostasis in the body. So when you rub a THC you know, or CBD topical on your skin, those chemicals will bind to receptors and then send messages through your nervous system to bring balance or healing to that area. I guess this is another question that I wouldn't understand. Then if you don't get high or if there's no chance that you're going to get high, you still can't sell your products online. I know so, it's really annoying and those laws do need to change because there's a ton of products out there that are have way gnarlier ingredients in them. You know? yeah. <laughs> that needs to change. Um, anything that has more than 0.3% THC in it is considered federally illegal and my products do have more than that. So I can't ship them across state lines. I can't sell them online. I can only sell direct to dispensaries. Oh, that's too bad. But I do see that you're in New Mexico and Oklahoma. How do you get your products there? We've created partnerships with a couple different groups in each of those states, and they essentially license the brand and manufacture the products there and sell them there. Wow. Okay. That's so that's really cool. We have line, though, that we're on the verge of launching um, just in the next week or so. And those products will be very similar to our THC infused products, but instead there'll be a, a whole hemp extraction <clears throat> or infusion. And those you will be able to purchase online. Oh, that's cool. So that you'll extract, still follow, the, take the whole plant, mm -hmm. but you'll start with a plant that produces less than 3% THC. Yeah. So essentially they're, they're all cannabis plants, but hemp plants just have less than 3% THC in them. That makes them categorized as hemp instead of mm -hmm. uh, cannabis or THC cannabis. Wow. Well, when I think of your brand and I look at your website, I just immediately think relax. I mean, I'd say, what's more relaxing than getting a massage in a small town in the mountains? And, and especially now, now with COVID, everybody needs a relief from the stress. <laughs> I suspect your sales are probably doing quite well since we've been through this pandemic. So, you know, in the beginning, when everything shut down at the end of March and April, topicals took a pretty big dip for the first couple of months, but um, now we're tracking really well again. We've had a great summer. And what was interesting, too, is since we are one of the original brands, I was one of the really the first brands in Colorado, we have a, a really loyal following and people trust our brand. So what we noticed is when we started bouncing back that Mary Jane's medicinals bounced back faster than some of my competitors, because I think in times like these people kind of want to go back to their trusted brands instead of trying. Sure. I don't know. It just seems like <laughs> everyone needs a break from the stress and nothing better than having a massage. And if geez, if you can make that massage even better with Mary Jane's medicinals, I don't know. I think it's a win, win, win. I'll have, the links to your website and everything in the show notes. And if I'm sure if, if you want to have a continue this conversation offline, I'm sure Dahlia would be happy to speak with you. But thank you so much for being on the show today. This has been great to get to know you. Hey, Dan, my pleasure. Thanks for having me.